Hello everybody, welcome back to some more Let's Play Minecraft. I am Mr. Envelope over here at our new base area. Um, we moved over here last episode, so we're going to be spending some time away from our normal base and we're going to pretty much have a second base over here. Um, we're about a thousand blocks north. Uh, if we go that way, we go back to spawn. And uh, yeah, I've been doing a lot of resource gathering and kind of just nothing too significant um i mean i guess the resource gathering is pretty good but i've been trying to not do too much because i haven't been able to record uh and i've really been wanting to so it's kind of hard because i don't want to do too much you know um but i tried recording this episode a few times already but it's been so noisy outside i've had like no time to record and then when i do have time to record it's been really really hot and I normally have a fan on in my room and I can't keep it on while I'm recording because then you just hear the fan um, yeah it's been a mess <laughs> so yeah like I said I tried recording this already what I managed to do uh, in that bit I tried recording before it all went to poo uh, I got an enchanting table just the enchanting table no books or anything uh, and we did some level one enchants on our <laughs> there goes a turtle on our uh, basic tools and stuff just to make uh, building our new base uh, a little easier and I got the turtles to lay an egg it's been here for a couple days already but it hasn't hatched yet um, yeah we saw one of the turtles go by there are just two chilling around here and they they come and go um, but they only laid one egg and I don't know when this thing's supposed to hatch I thought it was at nighttime uh, and I waited through I think two nights already and it's just been chilling there so I don't know if I need to do anything else so we're just gonna leave that <laughs> um, but yeah so like I said I want to start building our main base um, our main house uh, like I also said too I'm gonna try to stop saying that <laughs> uh, I've been trying not to do too much because I want to record a lot of it so I've been hanging out in my creative world and you know trying to figure out what kind of house I want to live in what kind of base we're gonna do um, I do want to have like a bunch of stuff separated and everything like that so like we'll pretty much just live here uh, maybe some storage for wood over here some storage for other stuff there you know just spread it out so it's not all in one spot and we're not gonna like live underground either we're gonna live on the surface like a normal person <laughs> Um, so I was trying to come up with a house design and I came up with something that I thought was pretty good. Uh, but I thought as I was building it in creative, I thought it looked a lot like my, uh, the houses I've been building on salt mine, you know, way back when. And I think it looks just like those houses. And I showed Ninny and Germ and they said it looked nothing like those houses. And I don't know if they're just like joking around, but I mean, I'm pretty sure this is like the almost the exact same thing. The only difference uh, to me is that the house is like a lot higher up. If you don't know what I'm talking about, um, I think it's in a couple thumbnails for on my old salt mine uh, videos. What I've been doing is trying to make something like uh, on Gravity Falls, uh, the Mystery Shack. It's kind of just like a giant pyramid or not pyramid like a giant triangle um cabin and that's what i built in salt mine twice and then we like reset the world so i never got to live in it um and that's what this is gonna be except we're gonna have like a couple not a couple just like a block i don't know why i put these there i don't think they're supposed to be there <laughs> um we're gonna have like a block and then another block and then the cabin's like on top so it's like a really tall build this is gonna be pretty big it's gonna be the biggest version of the cabin that I've done so far uh, I think it looks just like it a ninny and germs said no we'll see <laughs> I think uh, I don't know we'll see you got everyone can be the judge of it I'm gonna go ahead and build it anyways even if it does look similar um, I was already leaning towards building it anyways um, just cuz I really like uh, the base or the house shape and everything and um, I I feel like I haven't really had a chance to live in it yet so 
that's what we're doing. Uh, I gotta figure out what I'm what I'm doing here. So I think let's just put those down right. No, let's put this down right here. Let's stop uh, wasting time and actually do something. I'm not gonna build this whole thing today. Uh, we're not gonna build the whole thing on camera either. Um, I kind of just wanted to get things started. Again, I don't have a lot of time. Uh, it's started to heat up already. It's already noon. Um, what's that? That looks funny. Um, and I don't, I don't like to record with, or I don't like to be in my room uh, with my fan off for too long because then I start to die. So <laughs> let's see. I think I'm trying. I'm looking at my reference pictures, and I think we're good right here. So this is gonna come out a little bit more. Um, this house is gonna be very top heavy. Uh, you probably could have guessed that already with how I described it. We're gonna have like a block here, another bigger block on top, and then a giant like triangle pretty much uh, resting on top of it. Um, I think it looks pretty good. German Ninny said it was pretty good. Those two are, I, I trust their opinions and stuff. Um, I'm trying to stretch my building legs because my building legs? Does that make sense? That's a phrase, right? Uh, <laughs> I'm trying to, you know, get better at building because uh, War Girls is a, is a big uh, building series also. I'm wondering if I should just go like that because this is supposed to be five uh, five five it's supposed to be five blocks tall I should probably just go like that yeah that should be fine there we go perfect and I'll uh, clear some of this out there'll be a staircase going up that way um, maybe we'll do like the first two floors today I think that'll be good I'm looking at my reference pictures right now and I'm just having like the hardest time thinking I can't I can't do anything right now so I think this goes right No, that doesn't seem right it goes two blocks over there we go something like that uh, I don't know if I said this already but I got some dark oak wood uh, like a thousand blocks that way there's a roofed forest it's really small so I managed to get 12 saplings brought them all over um, and which is good because I want to use dark oak wood you know spruce wood has always been my favorite wood but recently, like the past maybe half year, I've noticed that I've been going towards dark oak wood a lot. Like it is such a nice dark color. And I remember when I first started playing Minecraft um, on that public server I used to play on, uh, Stevencraft, somebody, I was talking to somebody, we were like, not arguing, but we were just talking about wood. And I was like, oh yeah, spruce wood's the best wood. And they're like, ah, I don't know. Dark oak wood is kind of, amazing it's beautiful and I'm like yeah I think you're kind of wrong it's a little too dark it's not that good looking and yeah here we are well it's the next day and this egg still hasn't done anything I don't know what I'm supposed to do I'll probably ask germ uh, a little bit later um, I kind of just sat with it made sure ready to record in case something happens um, but let's go back to this <laughs> so you can see already just how top heavy um, this build is gonna be we have this giant deck right along here it sticks out like six six blocks or so one two about looks like seven um, let's see so that's fine uh, but we are going to put where is that right here yeah uh, we're gonna put the next block um, oops oh come on <laughs> the next uh, house block is gonna go right at this level I think we're gonna put the wall right here uh, in the in the house I built in creative um, this is andesite and I don't know if that's gonna stick um, I'm kind of thinking about maybe using some of the concrete powders but we'll see uh, I'm still kind of tinkering with it and even if I did want to use one of those blocks I don't have them right now uh, I kind of just want to get like the shell going so this is gonna look really rough for a while oh does this go here I think it does I think it does um, yeah this is gonna look really really rough so <laughs> just kind of bear with that we're kind of just getting like the shape done I don't mind coming back and replacing blocks you know it's not that big a deal so this is gonna go I think four blocks tall the bottom floor is the only one that's five blocks tall and then uh right up here you know we have this nice deck something to go look out at the ocean you know 
really cool. Uh, when we get wings again, we can just jump off of here and fly. Uh, I plan to put my bed right here somewhere. Uh, there we go. And I think I'm going to put a little bit of an indoor balcony right here so you can, you know, look down. Um, I didn't build this in the creative build, but I also want to put a little door right here under the stairway and have like a second house, not a second house, <laughs> a second room uh, right here. And uh, we'll put like the kitchen here or something and there'll be like... Um, it'll be roofed off. It'll be different than the rest of this. I feel like I should do more building uh, instead of trying to paint a mental picture for you guys because a lot of this probably doesn't make any sense. Um, there's supposed to be a window right here. Oh yeah, this is going to be great. <laughs> Let me go ahead and build some more. Check it out, guys. The turtle egg has cracks in it. Oh, I think I just heard something. Let me get real close to it. <laughs> no, um... I didn't know that it would take like more than one night. I thought like I might have had a defective egg or something. Um, but yeah, this guy has been here for like at least seven nights minimum. So yeah, I'm a little surprised that it took this long. Uh, also, uh, I was checking the wiki too because I wasn't sure. Like I was, you know, pretty certain that this was going to be a dud. Um. I found out that these drowned guys can attack turtles, so it's probably best if I make a little cage or a pen for them. Um, for the turtles that we do have, where'd they go? See, because like I don't, I don't even know where they are, and I don't know how often these guys have been spawning, because I've been uh, chilling in the nighttime for a while, because uh, I assume this guy would hatch during the nighttime, and... I guess some drowned guys could have attacked the turtles because I don't even see them anymore. Yeah, so if I do find them again, I should make a little pen. Uh, I should make a pen for this guy too because I don't want him to die. <laughs> I want him to live. So yeah, that's what we'll do. I'm going to wait here until this guy hatches. I think it might be close. I mean, it already has cracks unless I stepped on it or something. <laughs> I don't think that's a thing. Oh my god! It hatched! That was the cutest noise ever! And also kind of gross. Come on, you! Get over here. This is your new home. And then watch a creeper come by and just explode. Can I feed you this? Oh, I can. Oh, that's amazing. Look at that little guy. Look at him go. He's so tiny. I'm afraid that creeper is just going to come by right now and, like, kill everything. Oh, look at him go. He's trying to go to the ocean, but he can't. Uh, where's your parents? I did see both of them come by right now, so there's one. And the other's over there. Okay, cool. Wow. That guy is adorable. We're gonna have to get the turtle population way up. Just so there could be turtles swimming everywhere. Uh, come here. Oh. There we go. <laughs> oh, that's awesome. I'm really glad we got this guy to hatch. I thought it might have been broken, you know, because these pre-releases are, they're getting more and more buggy, I feel like. Like, the game's running fine, but there's just a bunch of other random bugs coming up. <laughs> so that's awesome. Uh, yeah, we got some more progress on the house done. Uh, this is, like, as much as I'm going to build up today. Um, so these are the two blocks, the two floors that are going to make up the first two floors. <laughs> And then uh, we're going to have, you know, a big old triangle roof. Um, there's going to be another bit jetting out of the side right here. Uh, but that's going to be on the third floor. So let's take a look over here already. Uh, it looks really rough right now because it's all cobblestone. But uh, it should look better as time goes on. Um, I need to collect some bone meal. Because some of the walls on the second... Or all the walls on the... On one of the floors, it's uh, bone blocks. And then we're going to need lots of dark oak wood. So I'll be farming all that stuff, like off camera, obviously. And then, yeah. <laughs> we're just going to need a lot of materials. It's going to take a while. And I think I'm going to try to get some gravel, too. So we could uh, maybe use uh, concrete powder. You know, kind of like how we did the 
what's it called? Uh, my trophy bedroom, like a few episodes ago. Maybe copy that block palette, because I liked it a lot. I think it looked pretty good together. Um, but yeah, <laughs> we got the turtle, and uh, I guess, hmm, I guess I'm gonna go gather resources now. I don't know what we're gonna do for the rest of this episode. I just wanted to do a little bit of building. Um, and kind of show you guys some plans that are going on over here. Um, so, yeah, I'll see you guys in a sec. Man, those turtles are way too fast. I swear. They they just, like, zip by. I see them coming. Oh, God. I see them coming around the corner. And so I have to, like, pop in my inventory, uh, grab the seagrass. And I, you know, I want to try to lure them into the pit. But by the time I'm done in my inventory, I look up and they're just, like, out, out in space. Not in space, but you know that way. Um, yeah. Ooh, I don't know how we're gonna get the turtles back. I don't even know how I got them trapped over there last time. Hey! Stop. Oh no, a little baby guy. God, babies are the worst. Uh, Breezy and I have been playing a CTM uh, off camera. We're not recording it this time. Um, ooh, just having hard times with mobs right now they're really pissing me off <laughs> not on here but just every time a little baby comes up i'm just like oh great this is the part where i die uh <laughs> but anyways guys um so i went to go gather some resources and i what was i gonna say i um i decided i'm gonna go ahead and just stick with um andesite i think it's gonna just be a little brighter than using uh the gray concrete uh, I could use the light gray concrete, but I don't I don't think I like that one as much. It looks uh, really similar to stone. Oh, but if I do, then I can actually mix in stone. Ooh, there's an idea. Maybe I'll do that for the bottom floor. Um, but for the top floor, we're going to use um, andesite. Oh, and I took out the floor here. Um, also, too, I kind of... I want to save up my gravel and stuff for... Um, What's that good stuff called? The coarse dirt. Yeah. I want to use some coarse dirt around here. Of course there's a creeper. Why wouldn't there be a creeper? Woo. Um, I want to put coarse dirt around the area. I want to kind of make this place look like a mega taiga. Uh, I don't think I'm going to be planting like a bunch of the, the trees. Like the giant trees. But we're going to have to to get some podzol to start forming because... Uh, in 1.13, Podzol will generate uh, where a giant spruce tree is, so I'll probably try to start farming this stuff up. Uh, we're going to need to collect a lot of dirt um, and a lot of gravel. So that was my main reason for not wanting to use concrete powder, because that also takes gravel. Um, but we might we might try it out. I want to at least see. But the top the top middle floor right here is going to be the andesite the bottom floor will probably be the one that we use um the powder for i think at least to test it out um i don't think that actually goes there there we go ah oh, i'm out of logs already so yeah this has been a kind of a weird episode i feel like uh i've, I've had so many like failed recording attempts too and uh, a lot of it, I'm not quite sure what I actually have said on camera. See, the turtle! He just swoops by and then he's gone. Freaking turtle. I'm trying to convert those guys too because Germ... Germ said... <laughs> uh, they, they can spawn with the trident. And... I think that's a way you can get one i don't think it's the only way i haven't looked into it at all because again uh, i said this a few episodes ago i'm trying to do 1.13 just like you know figuring it out or asking friends what they know you know kind of like how uh, knowledge and rumors of games got around back in the day you know just by word of mouth um let's go ahead and i guess just leave the window holes already so yeah, I'm, I'm just like asking German. He said that they can drop tridents. He's gotten them from them before. But I'm not sure if he means like naturally spawned ones can have tridents. And then you kill them. And then you can get it. Or if he means like any of them can drop a trident. 
So I've just been killing all of them. Plus they've been dropping gold bars, which I think is really cool because the only other mob that does that is Zombie Pigmen and those guys are terrible. I mean, you can always get to a point where you can just like one hit kill them, but sometimes it's just not even worth it. And gold's not even that valuable. I just I just think it's cool. <laughs> uh, something's not right. I think I think I have to push this wall back one or push this in one. I forget. Um but yeah, we're almost done for today with building this house. Uh, I'm just going to sprinkle in some polished blocks every now and then because, I don't know, I think it looks pretty good. <laughs> uh, oh, not like that. I did manage to get another one of the turtles in the pit. So now we have four more eggs incubating in there. Wait, is that four? I think it's four. I think we're good. Um, so we should be good there. Oh, let's not put that there. Let's put it right here. No, let's not put it there. Let's put it right there. <laughs> there we go. Um, and then I think I'm going to have to start killing some of the turtles. I think that's how you get their shells. I haven't killed one yet. Wait, I think I have. And I think all I got was seagrass. Um, but I want to, I still want to try to get a, enough shell parts or whatever to get the helmet. Because I think having one of those helmets would be pretty dope. <laughs> um, so that's what we're going to work on. That's what the whole point of the turtles is. Um, but that's what I'm going to be trying to do. Just farm them up. We'll kill them together. See what actually happens. Um, I don't know. It kind of seems like enough. I bet I should put some right here. If I could get there. Yoink. Um, there. And there. Perfect. I think that's good. Good enough, at least. And there. Okay. Um, but yeah. Enough with this house. Uh, let's... Let's try to get some food going, and then I think we'll call it an episode. Oops. Um, I brought some stuff. I brought... Oh, let's do this real quick, too. This is something I learned from Germ a long time ago on Salt Mine. Uh, ooh, I wish this was one block over, but it should be fine. There we go. Um, can I? I think I, I could probably put it one block over. I think I might even like that a little more. Let's put that there. Take these out. Pretty much, we're making a small little garden bed right here, and. When I was copying uh, one of the houses he made to like try to expand the city, um, he had a lot of these guys going on, and I would have done them more in my world if we had these trap doors, but these did not exist in vanilla for the longest time, but now they do, um, and I think they're pretty cool, you know, we can put little crops in here, probably n nothing right now, because I'm still working on this place. Um, but in the future, you know, maybe I'll put some beetroots in there, you know, something that I don't really want to farm, but I'd like to have access to if I needed it for some reason. Um, but all right, let's come over here. Uh, ignore that. That is where I was going to put my house, but no longer am I going to. Um, we need to make like a bigger farm and stuff because the little potato farm I have is, uh, pretty poo and let's see, one, two, three, four. Uh, it's, I don't want it there anymore. Uh, zombies keep trampling it, so. Let's just go ahead and make a bigger farm right here. Grow some potatoes, because they are the best vegetable. I love potatoes so much. <laughs> They're so good. Um, yeah, we'll farm some potatoes, and I'll make a small cow pen. So we can start getting some leather. We can start expanding the, our enchanting room. Or our enchanting setup, so we can build the enchanting room. Uh, cause that is actually gonna stay in the house. Um, enchanting isn't that really, I don't really feel like it warrants its own build. It's a pretty small setup. Um, and plus, I don't know, I, I like to have it in my, nearby I guess. Uh, we'll put it in the house. Uh, I already have like a space in mind too. Uh, it's not built yet, but you'll see, you'll see. Come on, there we go, perfect. And we got two starter cows and a baby. Beautiful. 
Uh, this works, right? Nice. There we go. Let's keep that up. I think they're smart enough to jump over that. Uh, maybe not. Yeah, we'll leave it. Okay. Um, I left this spot open for some uh, seeds, but I haven't been able to get any. I don't want to break too many of these ferns because they're pretty annoying to come by. Except check this out. A lot of them are missing their top half. I don't know why, so I don't know. I think one of the uh, pre-releases did that. We're on pre-release 7. Um, I was reading the notes online, and they said pre or, uh, version 13 should be out um, by the end of July. So I feel like that's really far away, but I mean, hey, at least they gave us something to look forward to and something to kind of... Uh, something for them to kind of aim for, you know. I feel like they didn't really have a release date in mind either, but who knows? That's pretty cool. Uh, but anyways, guys, that is going to be it for this episode. I don't know why I decided to go get the seed this late. I'm going to die. Uh, but thank you guys very much for watching. I uh, hope you enjoyed it. Peace out. Bye-bye. Oh, I'm stuck. I can't do this. I don't know why I do this all the time. Bye, guys.